you start to feel a certain frequency that's not quite of high vibrational energy. Food is meant to be fuel, and this fuel, this energy, is what's powering up your day. Die! <laughs> We touch into your mind, body, and soul. So, 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 so. What up, what up, what up, my people? Dreamwise here for another one. How to power up your food. Food, water, everything has a vibration. When someone is preparing us food, they're literally using their energy signature that can be placed on the food when they're cooking it. Whether good vibes or bad vibes, their churning, cutting, and preparing of the food can have a resound effect on the transmission it's carrying. Let's move to the slaughterhouse. These places where they torment, kill, and butcher animals leaves an imprint on these animals. Why do you think when you eat meat, you start to feel a certain frequency that's not quite of high vibrational energy? Food is meant to be fuel, and this fuel, this energy, is what's powering up your day. Die! We really don't need food as much as we think. We can eat the sun. And when I mean eat the sun, sun gazing, sun bathing, and just being outside will power up your being. Message! The good old natural way. Breathitarians and the fastest of the world figured it out. We've been mind controlled and repetitioned the fuck out to believe we need to eat three meals a day. Why you bullying me? Hell, even to believe we need to eat every day is a trick. It's all in your head, and it's a norm you decided to embark on. Our bodies can last without food for a while. Mind over matter, and matter doesn't suffice anymore when you're claiming chaos being... FATALITY. But, no harm done. No time lost. Even though I fast frequently, I love to eat. And it's a humanly pleasure we all can't deny. I am pure chaos. And I understand I have to feed parts of me that's in need. I begin cravings for some random shit. And I'll know I have to eat that particular item because it's not feeding me. It's feeding my ancestors. Wait a minute. But... That's another video. Ancestor veneration coming soon. There's a vibrational frequency that has to be reached in order to receive more insight coming in. When we're dealing with food and we're about to dive into a meal, there's something you want to do first. No, no, not that. But you want to power up your food. Power up your food is basically placing your hands over your food and affirming what the food is going to do for you. Here is the words. As I eat this food, I am strengthened. As I eat this food, I am stress free. As I eat this food, I am successful in all my endeavors. As I eat this food, I can come up for air and breathe before she stranglehold me with her legs. Toasty! 
This is a powerful way to remove any low vibrational energy off your food and make the food work for you. All these disgruntled restaurant cooks, mad chefs, and let's not forget about your angry g -ma. If this food is not coming from a space of love, unconditional love, then you must power up your food to get the real value out of it. Hell, if it is coming from a place of love, power it up anyway and double back on that power that you're placing on it. Your chaos being God power. Dream wise.